What's that sound? Where are you going? Is that the barrier? What are they doing? Cutting someone out of a... Something. Cutting someone out? Yeah, they just protect themselves in so you can fire. Wow. Yeah, I think they attached themselves, yeah? My God. I think they attached a part of their body, I think. Where's the person in there? So they put a blanket around them to keep them sheltered from the spot. Wow. You know what, I would respect them more if they actually talked to people though. They were just lost in music. The Extinction Rebellion. Because they were just lost in music. I don't mind protests, but they were just lost in music. Hello. If you don't mind me asking, what's with all that gear? All good. Oh, is that uh, power tools? Yeah, power tools and stuff like that. What's it for? It's to try and help remove these people. That kind of thing. Power tools. Yeah. Well, yeah, but, they glued themselves down, concreted themselves down and stuff like that. So. Concrete themselves down? Yeah, well, they put concrete down and strap themselves down to it and all that kind of stuff. I, I know someone uh, like done that there, but what about here? Is there anything like that here? Yeah, same thing. Really? Wow. Oh my god. They, cement, they cemented themselves in. <laughs> they cemented. Yeah, yeah, I don't recommend doing that. Yeah. Oh my god, they, they cemented themselves in. That's not the right way to send the message though, in my opinion. Why, why don't you just talk yeah, to people? So they cemented themselves into a ball? I have no idea. My god. Some, some very weirdly... <laughs> you remember you said you were watching Akira on the weekend, right? Yeah. Funny. Very on your chin. That's not the right way to send a message. Stop HS2. Oh, that's the truth. Planning to build a train line that they're planning to build from London all the way up to Birmingham or is it Manchester? Well, can't she like say at least say something? Hmm? What's the message? She's not saying no one's saying anything. We're just chilling there. It's just making a mockery out of it though. I'm just going to film over there for a bit, thank you. It's a bit far off from the clue one back home, I'm afraid. Yeah. I just got to make you with this one this week. <laughs> Okay. This is just a 
Seriously, mate, you're going to have to move on. You can't just stand here, okay? May I ask why? Section 14, but the water has been put in place. People are hanging about too long for this. Uh, but we're in a public area, aren't we? Section 14, but the water has been put in place. Due to the excuse of rebellion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Today, what she brings you here? Um, I was just chilling with my girlfriend okay. and bumped into shopping? this. Sorry, what, shopping or just travel? Oh, we just got to get some food. Yeah, okay, there's uh, no food here. Sorry, there's no food here. Yeah, it was down here, <laughs> okay. but like I'm interested in this kind of stuff. Two weeks from Monday, it's just going to be more of that. So, if you've got anything important to do for the rest of the week or two, just got make it. sure you plan your route. Yeah. Well, we don't know until it happens in the day, so just go through the day. Just to make sure you can't miss. Just fill out earlier and clean up and inconvenience the other one. We don't come into Central that often, but. Okay, so you're not London. You're not London. You, you aren't London. No, no, I'm not. Well, I'm, I do live with my boyfriend from Exeter originally. <laughs> so I'm not like that. Yeah, yeah, you're not missing out. No. <laughs> it's a lovely city to come and sightsee, but. Yeah. Uh, you haven't got to live here 20% now. It's a crazy business. Yeah. May I ask, what does Section 14 uh, cover? So that is, in terms of public order, that, that, that is conditions imposed on a protest. Okay. So obviously if you were to, depending on the conditions, obviously the conditions imposed today are not to protest within in the, in the actual vicinity of this area. Okay. If you go elsewhere and protest, you can't protest here. Okay, so... No one here is protesters, they just... One of the cops, one of the cops, are trying to cite uh, Section 14 on me for filming this. What was that about? Uh, can you explain that? Uh, no, you're fine filming at the moment. Section 14 is actually conditions of protest. So, uh, so the guy is. It covers the conditions imposed. Yeah. So you hear me? So the conditions imposed. Obviously, if you were to breach that and you were to protest and breach those conditions, then obviously we then advise you obviously of those conditions and we go through a warning formula and we advise you obviously if you continue to protest mm -hmm. and only you breach those conditions, you are liable to arrest. And so they continue, then they could be arrested under Section 14. So I assume uh, one of those cops assumed that I was a protester for filming it? I can assume what like. Are you protesting? No. I'm filming. No, no, there's not a fence, you're just filming the street. So I'm not filming the street. Yeah, I was just kind of rather weird that the guys try to cite uh, Section 14 on me for filming. Yeah, so Section 14 covers the actual conditions imposed on a protest. Yeah, so not protesters though? No, uh, I mean, uh, not. So there were loads here. Yeah. All the protesters have left. Uh -huh. Obviously, if you're just playing with a buy and you're interested, you're just bystanders, people uh -huh. watching, yeah. that's not going to be an issue because you're not. Mm. If you film yourself, you're tick topping yourself, then I've got confidence. I'm just documenting this, I find it interesting, yeah. 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 Uh, they're, making a, they're making a political message today, so mm. I won't be heard. So I'm just being I'm happy with that, I'm happy with protests. And obviously, once they start blocking roads and doing themselves, yeah. killing themselves, it's putting other people then at risk. We have to obviously bring in these, these, these laws, use it on them, and get them from because otherwise, I mean, I mean, the actual lady and the men who have um, cemented themselves in today, if it's not for us taking them away, there's no way that obviously their protesters have the tools to get them away today. So yeah. We can't leave them there. No, you yeah. can't. Um, so it's going to take, I mean, it's going to take us, especially as tools, especially as trained personnel, yeah. 
it's going to take us hours to get there. Yeah. Gosh, yeah. So, Especially, you've got to be careful not like, to hurt them. Slow going time. because we can't injure them, we can't pull them, yeah. we don't rip their skin off. Yeah, it's a very so, <laughs> once they're free, I gather you'll have to they'll be arrested. They'll be arrested. They'll be arrested. Yeah. Uh, uh, Under the act, and then take it to a police station interview, and then they'll be released. Probably what kind of? May I ask, uh, what would they be get arrested for? Obviously, I, I know this is. They so, should get arrested, so but what? Breaching would... section 14. Of the oh, that is 14. So that is. So they'll be breaching, breaching the conditions in Paris. So section 14. Sorry, I'm just asking what they be arrested for. Probably yeah. yeah. No. Well, yeah, right in the middle of the road as well. Yeah. So, well, they can't, you can though, because they're cemented glued in. So, how many the options? So, most people here today who work for testing here, we've obviously spoken to them about that. They've left with their own court, and that's fine. I'll say they've left with them. Do you know how many there's there? Uh, I think we've got, uh, we had a guy, I think we've got one or two over there, and we've got another three or four here. Yeah. So we're on the top, you know, there's three cemented in. I'm gonna have a good one. Don't worry, we'll get them all gone. We'll get them all carefully out, but it's just gonna take a long time. It's crazy, ain't it? Yeah. Well, I could with it's policing in London, isn't it? But the interesting thing is, if you're a politician, look at look at the new crime and policing rules. That's quite tough. It's the new policing. Are you moving now? So what is so what are they trying to do? So is that for spontaneous protest? Any protest? I think. So are, we, are people still able to protest peacefully or do they have yeah, to go through the you council? Can. Or no, anyone can, can protest peacefully. Yes. Is it just this sort of example that they're This isn't peaceful, this is disrupting the peace, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Once, once obviously disruption is being caused, then they that's can then, an offence. They, we can then bring in conditions to that protest. Okay. And if people stick to that protest, to those conditions, they can carry on protest. Okay. If they breach the conditions of that protest, then they're violent. Okay, so that's and what they're, they're trying to bring in. No, we already have that. Or is that already in? They're going to bring much tougher, <coughs> much tougher regulations in. Um, they're going to lower the bars to what people do. So mm. they're going to make much tougher laws yeah. to do a lot less protest work. So uh, we'll have a look and see what they're doing. Uh, okay. I don't understand what that cop was trying to say on me though, so since I'm a... No, because that's wrong, isn't it? Uh, I'm a public... <laughs> civ ci I'm a civilian. Yeah. I always say to people, if you want to video me, that's fine, but please ask, it's always nice. Mm, I, I'm not filming you directly, I'm just filming around. I wasn't even filming that guy, I was filming uh, what was going on there. It's not like I was yeah. like that, you know. So we do our own filming with this kind of stuff as well, because we're filming all our work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Show that we've done it, mm. so we have to be accountable for all things necessary. So we have to, we document all those anyway. So, mm. so these new tougher laws that are coming into place, like, the well, they've been discussed in Parliament. They've been discussed. Is been it, discussed. Is, has they been triggered because of the lockdown protests that have been happening more often? Maybe. Or is it a mixture? It's a mixture of things. Okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a new, it's a new police and crime. How are you feeling about this? Let's not get two of them in. It could just try to finish my shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, have a look. Have a look and see online. It's, uh, okay. it's interesting reading. Uh, I don't agree with it. Well, there's a fine It means we can be very harsh to put yeah. the testing, which I don't agree with. I'm like, I'm happy for people to protest about what they and this one both well, these, these aren't being violent. Yeah. They just go they just, they just stuck themselves down on the road. I wouldn't say this. They're all, I mean, everyone's spoken to those who are very nice. Mm. Everyone's been rooting in and defying all the extinction of the protesters have all been quite nice. Yeah. So, no one's being violent. Just, I've been reaching section 14. Yeah. So, we need to deal with that. Oh, I've got one out. I've got one out.
So one of them, I believe, has got out. Is that one of them that was in it? I think they're just trying to cite section 14 on everyone to be honest. I think they just want people to move on to be honest. Well you can't do that. I know. No, they're trying to move her for some reason. I think anyone that's trying to talk to them, they're trying to move them. I think they're trying to disperse them. I don't want to film this. I'm getting cold. Huh? Yeah, one of them is free now. Who's that singing? Is there someone singing? Excuse me? Is it okay if I talk to you? Yeah, but I might cry. <laughs> is it okay if I film you? Uh, yeah. Where's it going? Uh, probably YouTube. What, did they try to cite you section 14 and just move you on? Well, they said section 14 and said section 16, so I don't think they know what they're talking about. <laughs> so section 14 covers uh, protesters, right? Yeah. And you're not a protester? Well, I mean, I would class myself as a protester, but right now I'm not protesting in the road. I'm standing in a pavement. It's like a public space. I'm just trying to see that my friend's okay. She was in a lot of pain when they were cutting her out. Mm -hmm. um, which is not actually what's supposed to happen. Like they're supposed to make sure that the people are cut out of these kind of structures in a in a safe way where they're not going to be hurt at all. Mm. She looks quite cold. I just want to know what police station she's been taken to. Ooh, it is getting cold, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's really cold. <laughs> so, um, may I ask, what is the actual message? I see it's got H HS2, which means uh, it's a, it's it's a new a train, train line, isn't it? It's a new train route that they're planning to make. Construct, aren't they? To, from 
London to Birmingham. Yeah, they're in the process of constructing it. Um, it's going through various wild, uh, farmlands and Yeah, destroying reserves. a huge amount of like ancient wildlife. Yeah. Um, and it's also destroying people's homes, like people who have like just living in the house. They've been living there for years and they literally just get a letter through the post saying that this train line, which is just going to speed up people who have the money to like get from one place to another quicker, it's not going to improve any like actual connectivity in parts of the country which is deprived. Mm -hmm. It's not going to help the north-south divide. It's trying to ferry people between airports. Um, so, I mean, I don't know what like, you know, people come to these things autonomously with the message that they want to like, talk about. Mm -hmm. You know what I did disagree with though, when everyone is just having a rave, because I've been to protests myself before and I think they work best when there's a lot of conversation and discussion with new people that are just passing by. Which, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what's your opinion on that? So I think, I mean, so like we've got the Samba, right? Yeah. That's definitely like, it seems like a bit of a rave, it's also a massively tactical thing, because the louder we are, the less people can hear sections being read out. Um, if people are moving and dancing, it's harder for police officers to come up and try and move them and try and arrest them. Mm -hmm. So the samba does seem like this fun, like light-hearted thing, but it actually is a massively tactically important thing for right. Extinction Rebellion and for protests like this. Um, I'd agree that if we're just here having a party, that's like really inward looking and that's not, that's not what we're about. Mm -hmm. So if you've like, I mean, lots of people have packed up and gone home since the police response has like started pushing people. It's massive, ain't it? Yeah. The yeah. amount of them out here, they're probably hundreds. Yeah, yeah, I saw them, yeah. yeah, so they were the, the kind of outreach aspect of what we're doing here today. So people have been setting up those tables, inviting people to come and talk to them and saying yeah. like, we're XR, we don't have all the solutions, but we're trying to raise the conversation. And if you're willing to come and talk to us about like what you think about it, how it affects you, what are the solutions? Like, you know, we're not going to be a bunch of people like yeah. saying what is going to be done. But mm. I also like, we've got to have some fun, right? Like, yeah. You know, I'm an activist, I'm an organiser, it's been fucking exhausting, like I'm completely burnt out and if if we can't try and save the world and at the same time like have a good time, like I'm just gonna collapse. So I understand why people wanna come here, they wanna dance, they wanna have a good time. But it's yeah. it's one aspect of things, so yeah. if that makes sense. Thank you very much for talking to me. That's all right, no, yeah. thank you for asking questions. I'm I'm really unbiased. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm for a bit of both. I like um uh, I like Modernization and I like nature, yeah. so it's a bit of a hard stance for me to take. I don't think I can take a side, yeah. yeah. But yeah, destroying all wildlife is no, a bit much. It's very difficult because you find there are some other cities, there are some cities in other countries that can work harmoniously with nature, yeah. Um, Especially people, people who are, you know, you know, fossil fuels and things like that. It's very difficult to break that cycle. Refuse to change. Yeah. Are they yanking now? <laughs> Am I okay here? Am I okay here? Yeah. Uh, can you print these up? <laughs> What did they cement themselves into? Is that just a log of wood? A log of wood? I think it's metal cylinders. I'm not sure. It's quite a good little construction. <laughs> Bit of a task for you, isn't it, guys? Who are they? Those guys that are taking them out. Specialists in getting out safely. What, what kind of team is that, do you know? I have to be honest, I don't know. I think that's the city police. Bit of a new one though, isn't it, today? No? no just, just typical? This typical day behavior? <laughs> How often they uh, do this, Extinction Rebellion? I mean, I get their message. A lot of wildfire, a lot of forests being cut down. I think that's the message in it. Because um, the H, what was it, HS2, that's been built, I think that's going to knock down loads of uh, 
forest or something. This guy is really I don't good, know. actually. Dad. And, and, in, and in love. So is that a lot of wood? So what's the, what's the, how are you going to get her down? <laughs> oh, is that a woman in there? Yeah, it's a woman. I don't understand how she was connected. How was she connected with <laughs> You know what I noticed? When uh, one of the outsiders, like a civilian, starts talking... I'm sorry, do you not want me to talk to you? Sorry, I'm sorry, what's that? You, if you don't want me to talk to you, I won't. No, it's fine. Do you reckon uh, when a uh, public try to talk to them, they, uh, the police uh, are told to cite Section 14 on the public? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, no? I don't know what you're asking. Okay. Do you know? What are you asking? Why are they descending onto the public? Pardon? Why are they descending onto the public? Why did who descend on the public? What are you saying? It looks like the cops are like coming oh, down no, on the there's public. There's been a big demonstration here, and the extinction rebellion has been. No, here. but if you have a look here, yes, well, they're, they're, they're like having a go with the public there. Well, they haven't. Having a go at the public. The police aren't they? No, yeah, they're preventing people go, moving from one place to another. You know, and he's if on the bike has just been cursed by the police. He shouted about a police state. This is not a. Oh, police. that was him. What? That was him. He was, yes, yes. And I replied by saying, "You want to go to Belarus or somewhere like that, or Ukraine or Russia? Yeah. And see what and see what the you know the police will get up to there. Yeah." Could argue, you could argue, well, I don't actually argue, but you could argue that we're too liberal here at times. Not too harsh, not, you know. If the police get, if the police do get into trouble these days, it's an, an in, uh, instantly an independent inquiry to see what's gone wrong. I know I'm, I'm happy to stay in Britain for the rest of my days. I'm 84. <laughs> Well, I've been on a few demos, I'm not opposed to demonstrations. I was on a 1968 demo against the Vietnam War. Really? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Bill Clinton, you know about him? Yes, he was on that demo, but we didn't know at the time, but it was revealed later. He was a student at Oxford. Yeah. May I ask, uh, I'm just filming everything. Is it okay if I film you? Is what? Is it okay if I film you? I'm just filming everything. You won't be on the... I'm sorry, I'm not, I can't pick your accent, but I'm sorry, you put... Uh, you like to, he's just filming, is it okay if he filmed too? I don't mind, as long as yeah. it's not going all over the world, I'm not quite ready for that. <laughs> okay, okay. You know. Yeah, you no can, problem. You can put me on if you want my opinion, <laughs> I'll give you my opinion, you've probably mm. heard it already. Yeah. But, 
I mean, so I have, I'm in favor of demonstration, yep. but it's within the law. Mm -hmm. so no have, violence, opposed, absolutely opposed to violence. So have you heard of Extinction Rebellion? I've heard of it. I have a few. Of course I've heard of it. I've what, what? I, a good friend of mine who feels strongly about it was arrested on, I think it was Westminster Bridge, and uh, handcuffed and went to the police station. And of course they let him go eventually. He said he didn't want to have a police record. Decent man, well educated, Goldsmith College, very young fella. So are they, do you reckon they're actually getting their message across correctly or well, the, efficiently? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's uh, it's all part of the mix of the democracy. Uh, let people hear about it. Let people know about what's uh, what's going on in Afghanistan. Let's talk about it. We might get some solutions. The Taliban may not be quite as murderous as they used to be. You know, they might let girls go to school. They might let. Uh, I know I'm wandering off the subject, but they might. Not, they might not. Uh, uh, you might not have to wear a burqa, the full dress. They'll probably let you just wear a hijab. So that's a step in the right direction. In my opinion. Well, I really want to rule Afghanistan, that big mass of land. We need to cooperate with people in the people in the world. Trade. Good influence on what they're getting up to. You know, I don't like the sound of Pal Taliban. I mean, just, <laughs> you know, I don't think a lot of them. Oh, you know, yeah. beheading people. Yeah. Uh, they've been doing that, I think, even recently. Oh yeah. And then knock, knocking on doors, looking for twelve-year-old girls for sex as sex slaves. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, words fail. <laughs> Thank you very much for talking to us. Yeah, Thank you. Thanks. Where are you from? You're not, you're not from London, are you? I'm originally from Exeter. Oh, Exeter. I live, I live with my boyfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah. Exeter. My father was born in Timothy. Oh, really? Yeah. My aunt and uncle are in Timothy. Really? Yeah. 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 Lovely yeah. county. It yeah. is a beautiful country. Clotted cream. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. cream. Yeah. <laughs> All the best to you. Yeah, you too. I've got to negotiate my way through. Oh, I'm really curious how they're going to get their hair down. I'm curious how they're going to get their hair down. Because I, I think they got everyone uh, out of that thing now. So now she's the last thing. I can't believe they people cemented themselves into that. Oh, come on, that's it's not that much. Okay, so it's a globe. It's a, it's a ball of a glo globe.
Can't make the van hire company look good, though, can it? <laughs> oh. So is that the negotiator? I think one of the Extinction Rebellion people, they actually have a guy cleaning up after them, which is quite nice. I quite appreciate that. Them, aren't you? Yeah. It's quite a nice thing to decide up after them. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, most of it is tag and things, so it's not really us. Well, there's leaflets and things that people give out, and then other people kind of rip up and angry and drop things and stuff like that. But mostly it's just stuff to do with So what's the plan, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, you mean in here today, or like in general? Today? Uh, I don't know exactly, but basically just... I think she's going to stay there for... As long as she can, I guess. Yeah. Um, uh, so, I don't know exactly, but I assume that she's kind of understood the kind of consequences and is willing to be arrested for yeah, the sake yeah. of kind of trying the to message. support disruption and send the message. Uh, Do you mind if I film you? I have to be filmed. Sorry? Yeah, you can film me. Cool, cool. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. worries, yeah. Yeah. I'm just uh, wondering, um, so... I get the message that I think uh, you're trying to say, which uh, is uh, to stop uh, the wild uh, wood forest uh, getting cut down, is that right? Uh, yeah, it's to stop uh, ecological destruction and climate breakdown. Uh -huh. So both of those, which are kind of huge issues, and basically we're causing disruption by blocking roads like this and just making it difficult for the government and huge polluters like Shell and BP and those kinds of groups to just continue as normal mm -hmm. and just trying to make it difficult and costly for them to ignore us uh, so that it kind of gets media attention and is difficult for the government because with things like this you have a dilemma of kind of peaceful protesters in the streets they're causing disruption so uh, the kind of the police are told to kind of arrest people but that kind of looks bad for the camera but also if they don't arrest people then it's just a huge disruption anyway and then it gets more people and more people because I'm going see and join in so there's no correct thing for the government and the police to do to kind of deal with this. Do you believe that you get a, your message across through the media, or is it, do the media twist it and make it sound you make you sound bad? I think they there's always kind of twisting to some extent. I think generally uh, the media is kind of it doesn't outright lie most of the time, but it's just, uh, it just tells it from the point different points of view and it's like oh they're just ruining everything and tells it from the point of view of of the police and having to waste their time mm. and that kind of stuff which to some extent we are wasting the police's time but yeah. they're kind of choosing to be here to arrest us yeah yeah, yeah. so but, how yeah. how have the police been with you have they been uh, treating you okay or have they been uh, trying to cite you section 14 and move you on yeah uh, me personally they try to tell me to move away but i've just been nest picking so i usually move away and move somewhere else <laughs> yeah. uh, so I've not had much issue because I've not been actively trying to support disruption. Mm -hmm. uh, and mostly just kind of watch what's happening and support people where I can. Okay. Uh, it's a bit ballsy though, isn't it? Like to concrete yourself into that ball. ball. That's mad. Yeah. Uh, it's, I've not tried it myself, but it's quite... I assume it's quite painful to be stuck there. And I think it's more uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. I've been yeah. to a few protests myself just to... Uh, just as a passerby, and just uh, try to exchange ideas and thoughts. But I haven't seen something like this, and it is quite extreme. Yeah. I mean, sure, it will garner attention, um, but I'm just uh, a bit worried how it's gonna, that attention is gonna twist. Just, do you mind me just asking you guys a quick question on why you're here today? I was just passing by, to be honest. You were just passing by? Yeah. How do you feel about this? Uh, I think you should interview him because he knows a bit more than me. Okay. Is that, if that's okay with you? Yeah. Uh, Hi. Hi. Oh, I think I'm done. I can't see much of them. There's cops running there for some reason.
you take another mod off? Like non protesters. So they're like held in there like prisoners, <laughs> like uh, civilians. They can oh, they're allowed out. They're allowed out. Oh, they're allowed out, but people can't go in. Cool. cool. Sorry, can I just, excuse me? So I think they're preparing a tactic at the back of the McDonald's. All of them. Jeez, that's a lot of them again. Becky, what up? <laughs> 